Trevor has indicated that he will take questions. I do ask that when you ask a question, two things. You identify yourself for the record, and the question is focused and to the point. Thank you. My name is Mark Oppenheimer from the Johannesburg Bar. Mr. Manuel, you state that one of the core things that government should be focusing on is job creation. Now, job creation is like motherhood and apple pie. Everyone's in favor of it. So I'd like to try and get something specific out of you with reference to a particular change in government policy. The Labor Relations Act has recently been amended. One of those amendments is as follows. It will prohibit employers from hiring people on a temporary basis. Everyone will have to be hired on a permanent basis. Now, to my mind, this has an impact on three different sets of parties. Employers, employees, and the unemployed. We're often forgotten in these kinds of discussions. Now, it'll be the case that if you are an employee who's been employed on a temporary basis, who has to deal with the uncertainty of whether you're going to be able to have a job within a month or three months, dependent on your short contract, that this, this law may seem like a very good thing for you. As an employer, you may have a concern that if you hire someone, that you might want to test someone out um, for a short period of time to see if they're suitable and that you will no longer be able to do this. And there's a further concern that if you're unemployed, that your chances of being employed have been reduced. That this seems to protect particular um, sets of people, those that already have jobs, um, and can be to the disadvantage of those that don't. Okay. So my question is whether you would endorse such a policy, and if so, why? Mark, the, the brief, and I'd like Francis to, to confirm this, the brief that he gave me this evening, uh, I don't know if you put it in your flyers as well, the role of civil society in sustaining constitutional democracy. If my learned brother, you are on the Johannesburg Bar, you are part of that civil society, so why are you looking to government? You see, part of what we need, I, I'm saying that, that, that the issue and in the NDP, we try to communicate this time and again. Don't outsource your responsibilities to those who sit in parliament. You see, in the same way, this constitution we have, we can have it and be the proud owners of the constitution, or we can live its values. <coughs> it's like social compacts. You can draft them and say, well, we drafted uh, a compact on this day. Now we're happy. We issued a press statement at the conclusion of that. It doesn't give meaning. It doesn't transform anything. <laughs> Democracies that flourish, flourish because they are dynamic and they involve people. So yes, there are problems in the labor market. Yes, we need a different set of approaches. Part of what I said carefully was what do they say? War is too important to leave to the generals? I think jobs are too important to leave to government. It's a society-wide issue. We, we seem to have forgotten that it's a society-wide issue. Carefully, I thought that the words I chose are we must speak to current and prospective employers about this issue. It's not just for government and the trade unions. They can't have a duopoly of responsibility about this because you'll make grave mistakes. These are insiders we're talking about. Society must be opened and our responsibilities must shift. That if, if I didn't leave a message that we need to energize and dynamize our democracy through agents and organs of civil society, then I think I misspoke this evening. We must debate these issues differently. 